local election headquarters on CBS 17 News. Happening right now, people are able to vote in the midterm election as we speak. Yes, they are. Take a look at this photo right here. This, wow, look at that line. Wow, this already? This is from North Raleigh as the long lines of people waiting to go cast their ballots. CBS 17 holding her wiki. He joins us now live from a different precinct where there's already a steady flow of voters. Holden, good morning. Oh, good morning. There's actually been more than 70 voters show up, and that was before the doors actually opened here at the Cameron Village uh, polling location. And one of the big issues that they're out here for are those constitutional amendments that have been so controversial all through this election cycle. Republicans have already had to write and rewrite two potential amendments to see, that seek to curb the governor's power to appoint people to the state board overseeing elections and ethics laws, as well as to fill judicial vacancies as they occur. The remaining amendments on the ballot deal with victims' rights, capping personal and corporate income tax, hunting and fishing rights, as well as the extremely controversial voter ID law that Democrats have said is too vaguely worded. Now, all five living former governors in the state of North Carolina have actually came out against these amendments. It's going to be interesting to see what you know voters have to say as they voice their vote at the polls. Now, one thing I did want to share with you real quick. Actually, the pollsters behind me for the Democratic and Republic Party showed up here this morning only to find out that they're next door neighbors. So I thought that was kind of a neat little angle. And they told me that uh, it doesn't matter who you vote for as long as you get out and make your voice heard at the polls. Live in Raleigh, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.